You have a child with autism. How yeah. was it like for you when he was first diagnosed? Um, from very, very early on, we realised that there was something different about Declan. Probably shaped by the fact that he's got an older sister, so we'd seen what a normal neurotypical development was like. Um, as he approached the age of one, we thought he was deaf. We thought he couldn't hear anything because you could stand behind him, you could clap your hands and you could jangle your keys and he just wouldn't react at all. And we began to realise that there was something very wrong. We kind of realised that there, there was autism. He'd never really shown any interest in any toys at all. And he'd got this little laptop, he'd set it up in the kitchen um, and he walked forward and he pressed number one and he walked back. And then he walked forward and he pressed number two and he walked back. And I just watched him as he went through. Three, four, five. And when my husband came home, um, I started talking to Scott about it. Um, and my husband used to work with adults with learning disabilities. Oh. And I could see the blood just drain out of his body. And he said, we need to, we need to get someone to come and look at Deck. That must have been really hard. I remember driving to work the next day and just crying the oh, whole way bless. there. And realising that our lives had effectively changed overnight and yeah. even then at that point you don't realise to what extent your lives are going to change. Um, so this was at the age of two when we got the health visit around and, and she was fantastic. Um, she signposted us to Portage straight away, speech and language and occupational therapy but even though Declan was showing clear signs of autism they were very reluctant to diagnose him until the age of, of three. So it still took us a year and a half to get that formal diagnosis. And when you, on the day that they said, yes, your son has autism, how did it feel? It's a very, very strange combination of relief, which I hear from a lot of families, that you're not mad, that you're not imagining all these things, that it's not something that's just in your head, or you're not a bad parent. Um, so, first of all, you feel relief. It, and it's a weird thing to say, you're relieved that your child has got autism. Very, very, very quickly followed by, so what now? 